Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. Okay, so we are finishing up the fire signs. This is my last sign for the night, Sagittarius. Okay, um, at this point, I will have done all 12 zodiac signs, okay, for the second half of April. So this is for Sagittarius, second half of April. I um, want to see exactly what we're hitting on with the fire signs. I'm not really seeing a pattern. I see that you guys want somebody. Okay, maybe that's the pattern that you want somebody. You're starting to gain some clarity. You're more receptive to stuff. Okay, you're more open and you want you want the boo back. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> so your overall energy, Sagittarius, is unspoken. So that is regret, loss, worse, disappointment. Okay. So why are you feeling this way? In the recent past, you get confusion. Something wasn't clear. Puzzled, unsettled, unclear. Okay? It wasn't clear. All right? In your current energy, you have memories. All right? Bittersweet dwelling, reminiscing. You're like trying to figure out what's what. You know, you're like reflecting back on the past, how things were, you know. Maybe... Maybe you're separated from somebody and you feel like, dang, if I'd only said this, if they only knew this, I wonder if they knew that, okay? Because there were a lot of confusion here and there's like some unspoken words, almost like some closure that needs to happen here. However, in the immediate future, you get established, okay? So that's family, triumph, security. <clears throat> it seems like in the immediate future, you're going to actually like lock down something that's real, okay? Because the advice from spirit is apology. Now, maybe you need to give an apology or someone's giving an apology to you. All right. But there are some unspoken things. There are some unspoken things that probably need to be spoken. Okay. So we're going to clarify to see exactly what this is. Okay, Sag. Let's clarify for Sag. Right. Clarify unspoken as the overall energy for Sag. Okay. You get this strength card. The will. And the king of swords. All right. Could be done with a Leo. Could be dealing with an air sign. But this is you um, having the strength to like say what needs to be said. I feel like. Sag, there are some things that you need to get off your chest. And this is you having the strength to just say what needs to be said. The King of Swords does not hold back. Okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune there, I feel like they're saying it's time. It's time for you to say what hasn't been said. Okay? It's time for what was unspoken to be spoken. Okay? Let's clarify confusion in the recent past. What was confusing for Sagittarius? Clarify confusion... In the recent past, for Satch, was there a lot of confusion, a lot of disagreements, things were not unclear because people weren't speaking up. Okay, you get the Page of Pent, I mean, mm. you get the King of Pentacles. Clarify confusion. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. You get the devil. Okay, that earth sign could be a Capricorn. Because that's Capricorn's card. And you get the four of pentacles. You're holding on to um, toxic habits. You're holding on to toxic um, energy. Okay? I feel like this king of pentacles is your person. Alright? And one of the things that, that's causing the confusion in your recent past is that you were holding on to toxic energy you are holding on to toxic habits holding on to toxic beliefs holding on to toxic memories let's clarify memories in the current energy bittersweet reminiscing dwelling clarify memories in the current energy for Sagittarius you get the six of wands I'm going to take them. It's three cards, so in total it's going to be four. So you get the Six of Wands, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Swords. 
the memories are keeping you in your head. The, me the memories are keeping you a little stuck, okay? Um, because you want success in this and you want to move forward. You want to move forward successfully. You feel like you guys can, all right? Um, and it's almost like you just want to come out and speak your truth with that queen of swords energy, but you're kind of pushing yourself away from that decision. Um, even though you probably know intuitively, like it's time, but that five of swords energy, which is all in your mind is conflict in your mind. It's like you going back and forth. Like, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Okay. You are... Allowing yourself to get caught up here, okay? Let's see what this established is about in the immediate future, okay? Because it feels like you guys are going to come together and, like, create some type of balance here. Listen, and I'm going to take it. Two of Cups fell on the, on the floor. And you get the Fool. And you get the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely could be dealing with the earth sign. Okay. But this is saying that you want this union. Okay. You want this union. Okay. With the two of cups here. And you're you're getting up the courage. You're gaining the courage to just go for it. To just go after what it is that you want. Okay. You want to establish that this is like the Four of Wands card, okay? You want to establish that that family structure, okay? That family, that triumph, that security. You want to establish that, all right? You want to come into union with your person, all right? And you, you're gaining up the courage to just go ahead and just do it with the full energy, either you or your person. Doesn't have to be you. Maybe this is how they feel about you. Clarify apology is advice from spirit. Someone needs to give an apology, whether it's you or them. It's coming, maybe. You get the emperor. The five of wands and the nine of wands. Okay. An apology needs to be given, either by you or by your person, because, and they know it too with the Emperor card, they know it's time for that apology to actually happen, either you know it or they know it, okay, because there's been a lot of, like, conflict, um, there's been a lot of, like, um, competition, back and forth, feuding, like, that has you like in a defensive energy where you feel like you have to protect yourself or them okay and so someone needs to apologize here this is the advice from spirit like somebody has to apologize for this right here in order for you to get this, this establishment in order for you to get this union in order for this to come together with the full energy okay in order for that to actually happen someone has to apologize Someone has to fix it, okay? Someone has to do it because all the confusion and stuff that were happening in the recent past is because someone was holding on to all of what was negative, all of what was toxic, all of what was not helping the situation. Someone has to apologize here. Let's get you a romance angel. You get codependency, okay? Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So someone with this toxic energy over here, all right, that was holding on to the toxicity, I can't never say that word, okay, could have been um, participating in something that was causing this to kind of, like causing a wedge in this connection, all right, they could have been doing something that was causing things to kind of just crumble. All right, 
Can I get another card for Sagittarius? Okay. For Sag. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That was the other card. So, um, there may have been some toxic, you know, activities happening. There may have been some things happening that weren't the best for your connection. Um, but you obviously want this to come together. Okay. You want this to come together. You're reflecting back on the memories and stuff like that. Um, you want this to be successful. You want it to move forward, this connection. Um, so someone needs to apologize. Someone has to fix it. Okay. Someone has to fix it. The unspoken has to cease. Okay. Someone has to fix it. Okay. That's what I have for you, Sag. I hope this helped. And you guys have a great week. Um, this is for the second half of April. Someone has to fix it. Who's going to apologize? Who's going to do it? Is it going to be you or is it your person? Someone has to do it. Right? So maybe you have to humble yourself and do it yourself, Sag. I don't know. But someone has to. Okay? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. All right. You guys have a great night. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.